Uh, good morning, I'm Alex Villafaña and with me right now is uh, Dr. Jaime C. Montoya, Executive Director of the Philippine Council for Health Research and Development and uh, the one who's heading or spearheading the, the Tron comic book project and with him, beside him is uh, Tron himself. Uh, Sir, good morning, sir. Yes. Um, first question, sir. Uh, how did you come up with the idea of Tron and uh, also with the comics? Well, coincidentally, we are in the Department of Science and Technology celebrating its 60th year next year. That's exactly on June 13, 2008. And we thought that to make science and technology more popular with the whole of uh, Filipinos, in particular the young people, mm -hmm. uh, we conceptualized Tron. Mm -hmm. He represents uh, the young, and it's a person whom, with whom the young people can relate with, mm. who is very much into science and technology. Mm -hmm. So using Tron, we would like to reach out to all the young people in the Philippines to be actively involved in science mm -hmm. and technology. Mm -hmm. So sir, uh, what, do, what does uh, Tron do? What, has, what are his uh, powers perhaps? And, uh, um, what's a what's, uh, parang... How did you come up with the with the looks? Yeah, well, you notice that uh, Tron is an android, mm -hmm. so he has both human and computer features, mm -hmm. which is really the image of someone in uh, the 21st century. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And we thought that combining the humanness of a mm -hmm. character and the uh, advanced technology into one figure will mm -hmm. definitely make a hit with the young people. Mm -hmm. And we thought that if we will be able to make science and technology within the reach of the young people, it's not mm -hmm. something that you only do in laboratories mm -hmm. or it's high science and technology. Mm -hmm. We want the young people to appreciate the fact that and everything they do, science is actually working for them. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. Tron would be the big, the most effective bridge to do that. Mm -hmm. Uh, mm -hmm. to give that kind of information. Mm -hmm. So, he, of course, he has a lot of, of uh, superhuman skills mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and also his brain power is enormous. So, yes, yes. you would be seeing more of that uh, mm -hmm. with the comics mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. because when the comics is launched, it will actually feature, I mean, uh, stories featuring uh, his uncanny uh, brain uh, mm -hmm. Capacity, mm -hmm. his uh, uh, high science and technology capabilities, mm -hmm. and his humanness as well. Mm -hmm. So I hope we will uh, we will all look forward to mm -hmm. to that those developments. Mm -hmm. Sir, the comic regarding the comic book, um, how what's the frequency? How many pages will it be, and uh, when exactly will it be launched? Well, we hope to launch the first issue by January of next year. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, but of course, we're still perfecting the storyboard and mm -hmm. trying to find out what are the best stories that can best uh, bring out mm -hmm. the best characteristics of uh, Tron, which will of course be most attractive to the young people. Mm -hmm. So we're also planning to coordinate with the Department of Education and teaching institutions to achieve this. Mm -hmm. So sir, the distribution will be through all public schools, I suppose? Yes, and private schools as well. Mm -hmm. Alright, thank you so much sir, and uh, thank you Tron.